Um, let me just quickly switch over to this camera and say hello to everybody. Welcome to Krakow. Oh gosh, welcome to Krakow. Yes, things have only just got started getting running. Oh Jesus, uh, we had a lot of difficulties with the internet connection this morning. Everything was working fine yesterday, but then after the other streamers showed up for Keyforge and Destiny and everything else showed up, uh, then um, things started to take a little bit of a bomb. And there goes your Destiny Kalau. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, you're marshalling, so you can't talk to me. Hi. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> off we go. Uh, then, um, yeah, so we're underway. You can hear the two players in the background. Let me switch over to the intro screen. We'll take a look at their lists. Um, yeah, things are looking a bit jerky on the camera front. Or well, maybe not, I don't know. Gabor Chodowski from Warsaw, Poland, is playing Boba Fett with Jamming Beam, Perceptive Co-Pilot, Proton Bombs and Slave One. And an Iman Amazamin. Iwan Azamin, Azamin, um, Azamin, with Fearless, Perceptive Co-Pilot, Proton Bombs, Andrasta, and Proximity Mines. That's that taken care of. On the other side of the table, that camera needs to be straightened up a bit. Michael Jarsina, Michal Jarsina, from Otwok, Poland. He's playing Suntifel with Predator, Swarm Tactics, uh, sorry, with Swarm Tactics, Howrunner with Swarm Tactics, Iden Versa with Swarm Tactics, Wampa with Swarm Tactics, and bringing up the rear a little Academy pilot by himself. So, with that in mind, um, let's switch on over to see how they start their opening in maneuvers. Wow. Those white tablecloths give it a lot of glare. <laughs> anyway, um, but it's looking good. Yeah, apart from that, everything everything is looking pretty fine. That the play mat could do with being straightened up a little bit. Yeah, I can do that after this round. Yeah, as I said, things were kind of like hairy. We didn't. The first thing was I didn't have a board for the table that's big enough. They have these little these little short boards that are only just like give about three centimeters on each side of the play mat and I said that's not big enough for the cards I mean if you're a player on the main tables then yeah okay you can use the sides but it doesn't really work for the stream so I had to wait until Armada was pretty much running before I could steal one of the Armada tables because they were scared they were gonna have last-minute signups um, <clears throat> Oh, because there's a screw. Okay. But apart from everything, that, that, everything else is wrong. Oh, and I've not updated. I've not locked on all the points. I'm sorry. Like I say, it all became a bit hairy in the last minute. And uh, everything just started having to run about five minutes before they started the match. And so there was a bit of a delay for me to get everything up and running. Which is a shame because I spent all day here yesterday getting everything to work fine. And uh, it was working fine when I left. But then when I come here this morning... Everything has stopped working fine, and it's been only up until now that we've been able to get things up and running. Uh, and they're currently trying to give uh, internet connections to everybody in the area, like standalone, as far as I'm aware. Did I do that? <laughs> Oh, I've not got the timer running, so the timer must be... Let me, I'll have to go check it. Gosh, let me try and move things around a bit because the stuff's all got switched up and now I've got no real control over anything and so I'm bashing the microphone around like an idiot. One hour, seven minutes on the counter. Time is running. Okay, uh, this seems to be running okay. That's, I want that running. I don't want that running right now. Yeah. And where's my iPad? Let's see if I can get on the chat.
Did you want anything from me? All taken care of? Okay. Yes, is my answer. <laughs> I've not had any problems specifically there. I maybe got a little bit slow connection on the Wi-Fi, but who knows? Yeah. Okay, cool. Now I need this one as well. Screen layout's looking okay, right? There's nothing to read about that, is there? Yeah, no, no. Obviously, right, right, so what's happening is because I've got a white background, the ship icons, even with the small shadow behind them, are not showing up too well. But um, it'll do for now. Let me get onto the chat. Okay, yeah, it seems to be running. So, thank you for joining us. Yeah, okay, I can see everything now. But that's pretty slow still. I anticipate it will get better. So, there's not many of you there, and I understand why that is. Uh, but please do let me know in the chat how everything's looking for you guys. It's a bit hard to tell from here because... There's all sorts of things being said about the internet connection, about how if you're using Wi-Fi, it's not good because Wi-Fi um, is affect. There are there are two power plants. Where the basically the venue is sandwiched between two power plants, and supposedly that has a negative effect on the um, Wi-Fi on Wi-Fi in the area. Like, doesn't work out. So thank you for saying hello, mops. Uh, like I say, keep me in, keep in touch. Let me know if you see any problems, uh, and we'll we'll make this a nice little intimate experience for us this the, today. As I understand, yeah, that everyone wants to see the XTC. Uh, I had the option of going over there, but like I said, well, there's already two people streaming. What's the point? I'll do the hyperspace qualifier. <clears throat> right, got to pay attention to those dice rolls, though. He's already lost shield on Emon Azamin. No. Am I debugging right now? No, I don't think so. He lost the shield on Emon Amazon Azamin. Taken care of. Okay, cool. Alright, so obviously we've got about fifty players signed up for the hyperspace qualifier. Uh, and yeah, it's it's a pretty good atmosphere. There's plenty of players. Imperial Assault is just getting up started on the other side of the hall. We've our Armada is underway at the back of the hall. That's something like 70 players for the Armada European Championship. Oh god, I forgot to change this the, and the stream as well. Oh, they're all going to be laughing at me. At least there's only seven of you right now. Let's get this going. <laughs> that was because everything went to poop this morning. FFG. Let's just put caps. See if this fits. Just. Mm -hmm. 
better. Okay, cool. And then I have to get onto the Twitch uh, dashboard as well. Yeah, I kind of feel like a fool for showing up so early yesterday and spending all day setting stuff up to only have it all go wrong this morning when everyone else showed up. But oh well. Uh, dashboard. update that right so now that should be taken care of but not knowing twitch it will take about four hours <laughs> Okay, and I'm done. And let's get back to the actual job of watching this game and finding out what they're doing. So Michal <laughs> was going to try and uh, close in on the fire sprays uh, from the flank, but it looks like they've turned away. And now he's tr choosing to not pursue into the rear arc of Iman Im Im Azamin. And Gabo heading over to the far side of the board. Probably trying to draw the ties through those asteroids where he can drop bombs to make it even more difficult for them. Ah, he dropped a proton bomb of Emon. And then reloaded. And that's a hit for going over the debris, so no damage there. No combat that round as Sunti bumped into Boba. Yeah, I've got to straighten up that camera, but uh, I'll get there after the first round. It's a little bit jerky as well. I mean, for the most part, it's okay. Just every now and then. So, yeah, Gabor, uh, it looked like they've played together. When the, the, the system this weekend is just to sit, simply pull people off the tables uh, that you can see in the background there. Just And as I was in a rush, I just saw a dude with two fire sprays. I said, you'll do. It hadn't seen his opponent show up yet. Opponent showed up eventually with a tie swarm. But when they both appeared at the table, it looked like they played together. They, they kind of there was a there was a familiarity between the two of them.
obviously here we've got um, Michal with uh, the TIE Swarm <laughs> and a fight playing against the two fire sprays being able to fire front and back and with the bombs from Imon Azamine uh, it means he's got to be very cautious about how he's going to play uh, the next the, his maneuvers I mean we already know flying a swarm list a lot more effort required pay more attention to what's going on and then um, but in this particular situation there's even more it's even more risky you've got a lot to take into account with the, the, the two fire sprays can fire forwards and backwards so you've got to try and look for those blind spots on the flanks and even as I mean chucking out those bombs with the with the free back with the free turn menu template uh, means they can get into some pretty dangerous situations as well so he's gonna be a bit th I would guess as as far as a swarm player would be concerned this game is a little bit more cautious in its approach than an, a, another two ship game for example Yeah, Bobo drops a proton. Academy. Too straight. Focuses, one par, two straight. So formation flying. Yeah, pretty standard for the block of the four tyres because uh, from where they are, they can't really get into a serious fight. They want to wait and see where Boba Fett goes in the next turn before overcommitting. Uh, Imon Asamin takes a two bank to the Oh, that's a flipping arrow to the right. And he focuses. Hide and Verso, two straight, focuses. And the Howl Runner would be, my guess, to be two straight and focus as well. I guess he's got the option to barrel roll here. No, he doesn't take it. Bar Boba Fett. Turns. Ah, oh, there's a talent roll to the left. To come to kind of pinch a Suntir in between the two fire sprays here. And Suntir with that bomb there has got to have some fast maneuvers coming. Yeah, how a runner too straight focuses. So what I'm looking at here is that Boba Fett has the initiative. Yeah, Gabor, Gabor has the initiative. And Suntir takes a four straight. Is it a K turn? I guess not. He's probably going to have four straight and then try and. <laughs> it would be crazy if it was a K turn. Uh, maybe try and barrel roll and boost uh, to get himself a little bit further away. Because right there is a bit of a sitting sick duck, and I don't think he's escaped range of the bomb. I think he's still at range one of the bomb. I think his only option here is to barrel roll left and rear and then boost but I always get confused now with uh, second edition whether or not that's a possibility that you can actually do that then double check the card right so swim to yeah so he can yeah because so much has changed it's, it's like is it really possible or anyway so yeah, he could barrel roll. He he would want to barrel roll to the left and backwards, and then boost. But that would put him straight in to range one of uh, Imon Azamin. and would probably trigger fearless on Imon Azamin as well, as as the boost would probably bring uh, 
Sunti's arc around to face it, it, to get to get them both into into, into the four facing arcs. I think it's in a bad position. Knowing that, oof, I don't know. He's going to go try, try and go forwards with the barrel roll to the left. And then boost, but I think the only advantage he's getting out of that is that he's, he doesn't trigger fearless. <laughs> um, but he takes a shot. If he'd have, uh, if he'd have barrel rolled back, he would be a couple, a couple of centimeters back now. I think, would he have fit though if he had a power roll back? I think so. But he'd have had the opportunity to fire. Alright, so you've got range free from Boba onto Sunte. Sunte with no tokens. Boba gets a focus and two blanks. And there's three hits, three blanks. Bye bye, Sunti. Bam, bam, bam. And the shields. Went, oh, I'm doing shields, not <laughs> points. He's got no shields. <laughs> there you go. He's dead. Um, yeah, that was like. Uh, that was. <laughs> I just I was gonna say something I heard the other day. Luckily, there's not many viewers right now. Um, I heard the other day, and I <laughs> it's um, that was like uh, it was like a cluster bomb on an Afghan wedding. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, uh, back to dials. And uh, Michal already uh, off to a losing foot, having lost Sunte in such spectacular fashion, just basically allowing him to get completely pincered by the two fire sprays. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, completely sold Sunte down the river there. Uh, and a lot quicker with his dials now, he's realizing he's got to get back into the fight. He's got to press this engagement. He's, he's on the losing foot. He's got to try and take half points off of both fire sprays. To be in the chance of winning this match. Now he's got an advantage with the swarm in that he can do a lot of repositioning, he can move slowly, he can spread them out and try and make it harder for Gabor to uh, be able to close in on them uh, with, with the multiple arcs he's got. So he needs them to be spread out to try and take advantage of not taking fire, not allowing. <coughs> being able to spread fire out right so he wants two ships to engage and then those two ships in the next round to be in the blind spots while the other two ships engage and then just keep switching between splitting, splitting the ships up into two formations of two and engaging and finding the blind spots with half the squad at alternating turns to try and be able to maximize his firepower and not allow uh, the shots from Gabor's fire sprays to be able to wear those ties down too quickly now that would also require a bunch of tokens to be able to make sure they can withstand any firepower from those ties from the from the fire sprays but and let's think about that last round as well because that, that that shot was from boba but like <laughs> no no that, that shot was from iman it was from iman azamin because Bob, boba fluffed out he had a focus and two blanks and iman azamin followed up with three hits and a blank and of course sunti without any tokens rolled three blanks Ah, absolutely devastating. Trójka bez kamery. Ja mam trzy kości. 
Okay. So, two blanks and a focus. Becomes two focuses. Spends the focus for two. And rolls three blanks on Boba. <coughs> Boba takes two shields. So this is the hyperspace qualifier for before the European Championships. Maybe I should change that, uh, but then it's not all going to fit in. European hyperspace, <laughs> like yeah, I guess. Um, <coughs> so yeah, hyperspace qualifier. So, not got range from the others. Gets a hit to three hits. And there you've got two evades and a focus. Spends a focus. And you've got hit and focus becomes two and evade and focus. Takes, spends the focus to, to evade two. Crit and focus becomes another crit, I think. I'm looking at two crits. There you've got two blanks and a focus. Spends the focus to take just one and lose another shield. back to dials then so not bad not bad round uh, for um, <laughs> for Michal a very small interchange taking free damage off of Boba Fett in exchange for nothing on his side of the table which is basically what he wants that's the way he wants to kind of play this next few rounds is just <coughs> is just to kind of chip away at the fire sprays. He's two more hit points away from getting Boba Fett down to half points. Now, we've seen Gabor's pretty good at flying these. Uh, splitting them up and kind of uh, pincering on the opposing position. Blanched to block Suntia very well into getting him into that kill box. So here we go. <coughs> It'll be interesting to see whether or not he splits the formation this time up with Mikhail. He's definitely gone in fast. Maybe hoping to mm. block uh, Emon. But. Hmm. It's one part. Yeah, just kind of going too straight, just kind of slotting in behind. Yeah, I might be. I might be reckoning he try and he tried to block Emon, or maybe even Boba if Boba had a turn, had taken a uh, hard turn to the left. Yeah, Emon turns to the right, two turn. Focuses, and he's probably got arc on that academy, but I think 
The rest of the formation are going to be in the blind spot from Emon. Oh wow, okay, interesting. Yeah. It's good play from the fire sprays here of uh, being able to try and uh, kite the ties into their rear arcs and also just like, so for example, the next turn, <coughs> Emon's got bombs. And Bobber as well. Bobber's still got a proton bomb himself, so he's going to be a, a difficult situation for the tie squad from the next turn. Because they can both just drop. I mean, and Emon's got options. So, like, Boba could just drop it one straight behind him. And then Emon could probably take advantage of the free straight or the free turn to the right template to drop bombs to make it even more a larger space that the TIE fighters have to try and avoid. <coughs> oh, I'm getting really dry in the front. <coughs> okay, so two hits, two evades, three evades. So, looks like Bob is going to fire on Wampa. No, no, no. Demon. The Bob fires on one? Yeah, I don't know. I want to go first. Anyway, no particular change of damage here. Two hits, one hit, two evades. We've got two focus results become three hits. Well, a hit and two focus results become three hits. Two blanks and a focus becomes an evade. Takes two damage. Oh no, the academy. So oh, Wampa fires, two hits, one evade, that's a console fire, hadn't seen it taken damage cards already. Two, another two hit, look, hit and crit, and here you've got, that's a blind wounded, what is it, the last one, stunned pilot, stunned pilot. So yeah, once again, really good turnout that turn for Mikhail to be able to re regain some of the lost ground. Benjamin. Be able to regain some of the lost ground that he had losing Suntir. He's managed to get Boba Fett down to three hit points in exchange for only two damage cards on the, tie, the Academy tie. And Boba Fett with a console fire and a stunned pilot now.
Now, like I said, this next turn, this is where um, Michal has more of a problem. He's having to face up against uh, Iman and Boba, both dropping bombs and kind of spreading things into a pretty serious uh, area for him to try and avoid. I think I need to change the cable. I need to buy a new cable. Decides to drop the proton bomb right in the middle of the ties with Emon. Slot. And Boba drops one as well. Uh, yes. Hmm. So the Academy pilot bumps into the back of Boba Fett. Oh no, is he trying to do like a K turn? Or? Yeah, he, well, he's gone as fast as he possibly could. And leapfrogged over Boba. Wampa does a free bank right into the dead zone. Mm -mm, um, well, he's not going to get out of this without taking a damage card. scary when they stay so still because I feel like the camera stopped moving anyway he's gonna he's gonna try and barrel roll to the left although I'm not sure what good it's gonna do him right now but I guess it's kind of more pos positional for the combat phase because like, he might have got out of range with the, one of them bombs I don't know but I don't think so 
shots. No, nah, he's taking he's taking two cards. And he and he knew this was coming. I don't know why he didn't uh, chose um, a more drastic maneuver. So Iman just does a simple free straight, right? Two straight. Yeah, he's got that rear arc. He doesn't have to do anything right now. They can choose to try and follow him. And the ties, just like they have, trying to turn. They turned right. No straight. So yeah, for those of you who just joined us, Sunti got completely destroyed. He first got blocked by Boba. Then uh, Boba dropped a proton bomb and led to Sunti being pincered between the two fire sprays. Leading him to take with after ha trying to escape the bomb by barrel rolling and boosting, leaving him no tokens to receive a range one attack from Emon Amad. I mean, getting three hits and rolling three blanks. So Bob is having to move first. And I think they're trying to do it by eye from above, but um, they're going to remove. They're going to remove the academy. Yeah, bumped. And how runner is just sliding in the same place, but she's in a bit more of a difficult position to be able to barrel roll out of the way of those bombs. I mean, if anything, she's going to be the only one that's not going to take two damage, but she focuses, so she's just going to take what? Is he going to, is he going to try and link a barrel roll? No. Disable power regulator. And a fuel leak on one part. Oh, no, 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 that's going on. Oh, right, because he's got to do one bomb at a time, right. Eden Verso gets the fuel leak. Console fire on how runner. Yeah. Wampa takes a direct hit. Aiden uses her ability to avoid the damage and Haura takes a direct hit. Yeah, remember I said something about carpet bombing an Afghan wedding? This is pretty much exactly what it's looking like right now. <laughs> it's like that, that one video with the, the mountain inside just exploding. Uh, that's pretty much what's happening. Yeah, devastating. There's still combat to go though, isn't there? <laughs> it looked like the round was over. Uh, so... That's the console fire from Boba. Takes no damage. Boba engages rear arc onto Iden Verso. Versio. Gets a focus and a crit and a blank. Gets re-rolled for two focuses. Just one crit then. Uh, there's enough evade there to make sure Iden stays on the board at least. Um... Uh, 
nie, to nic nie jest. No to tego bampiarza będę żali w takim razie. Now one, two and a crit from Iwan Azamin. Faces one evade and a focus takes the last damage on the how the academy tie, right? Yeah, damage sensor array. <coughs> and Iden Versio versus Boba and Imon. Still, not, he's got the half points on Boba. Two focus results. No focus result. No focus tokens to change that with. And they go back to dials. Interesting turn of events. Yeah, this is hyperspace. I put. I, I didn't. Wasn't really thinking about the actual event title when I put it on the screen. It's, it's this is the hyperspace qualifier that they are running on. The, ooh, ooh. That's a very expensive route that just took a tumble, and it looks like there's a coffee about to be spilt on a table full of computers. Beautiful Nighthawk crew has just got all his antennas <laughs> all going any which way. <laughs> okay, um, yep, so dials are down. Gabor double checks everything and drops a proton bomb from Imon. Free straight out the back, just in case. I don't think he's going to get Iden from there, but you never know. And then Talon rolls to the left. Like I say, not much really Aiden can do to really pull this game back. Yeah, bumps into Baba. Out of range of that bomb though, so that, that that's one thing. <laughs> that's one advantage. I really, I don't think she's at range one of that bomb. No, it's, not, it's impossible. Look at the size of the base for the fire spray. There's no way he's at range one. It's, uh, I think this is the end of her so either way. She's avoided the bomb, but uh, she's going to take a pretty heavy shot from Boba Fett. And she's only got two hit points left. Boba Fett rolls with console fire, takes one damage. It's got structural damage and uh, stunned pilot as the other damage cards. One hit, one crit, and a blank. Now you've got two evades, so that's not too bad. That's worked out pretty well for Versio. That's a crit and a blank, and okay. Bobo rolls a focus, spells focus. No exchange of damage there. Back to dials. Oh, right? Or are they? I think they are. I think. 
Hmm. So, yeah, I mean, we're down to like 20 minutes left in the game. Uh, Aiden versus Sierra's not really got much left to do. Dials are down. Gabor double checks. And Iman takes a one bank to the left. I mean, you could even be cheeky and start reloading here, but no, focuses with the perceptive co pilot for two. Anybody else see a lot of slowdown on the camera there, or is that my connection? takes the damage hat. Oh no, 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 he's gonna fire. Uh, blank, blank, hit, focus, rerolls one, two hits. Gets free focus results, spends the focus, stays on the board. It does Emon have range and arc? Well, arc he should have, the question is if he's got range. Yep, looks like they've decided he's ranged. One, two, and a blank. Two evades, no problem there. thing on the screen before everyone gets really confused. Hyperspace qualifier. There we go, done and dusted. Now everyone will understand what's exactly what's going on when they when they show up. Well thank you for joining us. It's been an interesting game. Uh, <laughs> Those tires got completely destroyed. Um, <clears throat> Iden, the only one left now. Bumps, bumps into Aiden. Now Aiden's got that fuel leak car. Fire 
wygrają, no jak, tak. jak mi dasz, to no, dziękuję. One focus, two blanks. So one here. We'd have to be really unlucky of um, Aiden's now got this. Two evades. So Aiden is probably not got arc, I don't think. Nope. Back to Dars then. Someone already won something. Okay, anyway, it's all going really well. Uh, yeah, they, uh, we, things were started on a pretty timely schedule this morning. We had a little delay, actually, only about 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, and I think that's more to do with the fact of how, how late they wanted to leave registration, that you could still register at last minute. Emon takes a one bank to the left. Turns fire, gets hit and focus, and takes a damage on Emon. So something happened, uh, but yeah, it's been like about about ten minutes since anything else happened. Uh, we had we had we've had basically it's been like uh, the best part of an hour, and we've had two explosive rounds of combat, and everything else has just kind of been like bustling along and uh, exchanges of fire that never really do much damage. hoping that this is the turn where Versio uh, finally gets pincered by both the fire sprays. I think he wanted to kind of like bump her with uh, Boba Fett that round to try and be able to get one of the bombs off with Emon. No, no, not dropping the bomb. I'd have said the proximity bombs would have been a good option there. Three turns of the... The free turn to the right template, proximity bomb right in front of Aiden Versio. They did the double bump again, no range. Hmm. Hmm. I see a pattern. I see a pattern evolving.
Ja cię robię w bambuko. A na przodu. Finally disengage, finally unblocks Boba. Hmm. Yeah, so Boba probably. Yeah, he's just trying to get that range one shot off. Just trying to take it off the board. Uh, one hit becomes two. Spends a focus for free. And she rolls two evades and a focus. It takes one. And it's not face up, so she's still on the board. Fuel leak hasn't been triggered. Yeah, I'm back to dial. So yeah, uh, um, uh, does Boba does Boba fit on the fit on the board this turn? I mean, I'm guessing Emon's going full speed. Well, free straight. Where is Aiden Versio going? After Emon focuses. After Emon focuses. With perceptive co-pilot for two. Aiden Versio. Yeah, he's just going to try and go two straight. Does, does Boba have something to keep him on the board? No, doesn't look like it. Tight, 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 tight fit, tight fit, tight fit, tight fit. No, he fits. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so still got the opportunity to fire two shots there. Right, two crits and a hit. Rolls two evades, spends the focus for free. Yikes. <laughs> uh, now Emon at range two. No focuses. Range three is, sorry. And two evades, and that's the game. Oof. Oof. Oof, indeed. Dobro, yeah. Ale po powiem ci, że jak byłem w ten tydzień temu w strefie, to miał absolutnie... Should this be closer or... No, I can yeah? do you fine. Yeah? I can okay. do you fine, yeah. Uh, this one's not working very well though, there we go. Oh. Uh, okay, Mikhail! Wow, that was a tough game, huh? Ah, uh, not good for me. No, uh, and it, all, it all came down to basically like two rounds, wasn't it? <laughs> 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 there, was a, there was that one round where Sunte just got completely destroyed. Yeah, he got pincered yeah. between the two of them. That's my bet. Definitely my fault. Yeah, and it, it, you, you could see it coming as well, huh? The bomb and everything. Yeah. Uh, that was tough. Uh, I mean, that's the first ever play with this... Uh, yeah. This, how it's called in English. The uh, fire sprays? The Raspiska. <laughs> Raspiska. What's the Raspiska? Uh, list. The list. list your yeah. first list. Right. Yeah. The first time you play with the list. Right. Yeah. I've come here for extended. The, yeah. Uh, uh, European Championship and didn't plan to hyperspace uh, hyperspace okay. at all. But I mean, let, let's try it. Okay. So I took the like, just YOLO list. YOLO list. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. And then yeah, it just kind of uh, he. Uh, Boba Fett dropped the bomb. Sunte yeah. was in front of it. Sunte ended up pretty much on the bomb. You had to try yeah. and get away from the bomb. You ended yeah. up putting yourself. I knew I will. Uh, no matter what I try, I'll be sh shot. You'd yeah. get shot, yeah. Yeah, I tried to get only one shot and yeah. don't uh, get caught with uh, fearless. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Just one evade, one evade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't happen, huh? Yeah. And then the second time with the two bombs together, yeah. everyone getting destroyed. Howrunner destroyed one hit. Uh, Wampa gone straight away. 
and yeah and then it was just a question of the academy and the item verso how long they could last and not very long it was a, it was a such a yeah. anyway that's your first loss of the day so you can't get the invitation to worlds but you can keep playing for your prize tickets right yeah yeah, yeah. okay cool just have fun thank you for appearing on stream okay good luck Cinque. Cinque. <laughs> Gabor sit down hi there how are you that was a good game for you huh yeah a bit stressful but I'm glad I didn't humiliate myself on my first stream and really my first major tournament well well done yeah this is your first major tournament yeah I'm only playing from May this year okay and I'm actually pretty bad at this game <laughs> pretty bad but, but this list is really good and it's simply carrying me yeah, yeah yeah no you did very well and uh it, it basically came down to us the same with Mukad. it's basically just two rounds where you just drop bombs on him and yeah, yeah. and that, that took care of everything the, the tr well there's several tricks to this list uh, but most of the time you basically have to survive initial encounter to get to that golden turn yeah. and you just drop bombs then double down with your rear arcs and just murder whatever came at you excellent right okay well, well done, that's one win. Good luck for yep. the next game. Thanks. Okay, Jinkwe? Okay.